college football players built me a team in the last one. And we had such a fun time with that squad that we had to do this again. Although this time with March Madness in full swing, I wanted to get input by DMing college basketball players from around the league. Yes, you heard that right. College basketball players with even some guys from the March Madness tournament chiming in. DJ Burns Jr. and the NC State Wolfpack have put the league on notice as they continue their heroic ride and conquest into the Final Four. They weren't the favorite to win the ACC championship, but they did it. They were counted out to get even this far, yet they're still here. Regardless of if they can keep riding high or not, DJ Burns Jr. has agreed to become the coach of this new look NC State football team. Built by the players, for the players, here is a look at the DMs that made this team all possible. Let's ride and see if we can bring NC State a national college football championship. Our first DM was to none other than Bronny. Bronny James in the house. What three players did Bronny add to our team? Yeah, there wasn't a shot I got a response from him. So now let's actually reveal the roster. Like the college football video, we went and DM'd a couple hundred basketball players, and I'll admit it was a little bit harder to get some responses from the basketball community. But honestly, it's probably because I sent these during the tournament. Shout out to Jalen Wells, who got back to us first, a six foot eight forward from Washington State. He dropped 17 points in the first round victory over Drake, and then came back and dropped 20 in the second round against Iowa State. So Jalen went ahead and chose Kai Wallens, a left end from Nebraska, and Walker Lyons, a all-American high school tight end that committed to USC. DJ Burns has just added his first two pieces. Walker Lyons slotting in at our starting tight end position, and Kai Wallen also our starting left end. Our next guy is Tyrone Marshall from the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. Unrelated, but man, I love that mascot. Just like Jalen, Tyrone was a leading scorer for the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers in their first round defeat to Marquette. Tyrone gave me three guys to add to the squad. Tyquez Legs, a defensive tackle for Marshall, Keyshawn Lawrence, a defensive back from Oklahoma, who actually is transferring to Ole Miss in this upcoming season. And then lastly, he said Meek, a receiver from Virginia. And I'm not going to lie, I looked up and down that Virginia roster. There was no Meek. So I'm sorry, man, if you had someone else in mind. But what I did is I took Jackson Meeks, who's another Meek, and uh, he's a Georgia receiver. There's a look at Key, our starting free safety, and then Tyquez, our starting defensive tackle. And like I said, I apologize. This is probably the wrong Meeks, but just as a side note, he is wide receiver six on the depth chart. So he's not going to see much playing time. Then we get a response from Gerald Jones, who plays for the University of South Florida. Gerald, let me know one thing and one thing only. We have to go with them Colorado boys. So it looks like Shadur Sanders, Shiloh Sanders, and Travis Hunter are all joining the team. Shadur Sanders is always a fun option at quarterback, but will he remain as the starting quarterback when the roster is all settled? And then Travis Hunter is going to be our fifth string receiver. Moving over to defense, yes, Shiloh Sanders is going to be playing linebacker for us. Not only do we have key at safety, Shiloh's skill set actually transferred pretty well to linebacker, and that was one of the gaps you'll see at the end of the video. So Shiloh just makes the most sense. Travis Hunter may be fifth string at receiver, but he's definitely cornerback number one. And I forgot to mention, we put him at halfback as our second option as well. So he's got a skill set all across the field that will work. Then I reached out to my guy Deuce from the University of Louisiana. He was able to give us three big picks, Bryce Anderson, Chandler Rivers, and Shiloh Sanders, three great defensive options. All right, Shiloh Sanders was already on the team, but Chandler Rivers comes in huge for us as our second string cornerback. And then Bryce Anderson will happily slot in as our third cornerback and also second string strong safety, second string free safety. Then we got a response from Noah who plays for the Rutgers basketball team. He wanted to make sure that this one guy made our squad. And so without further ado, Cam Barito is on the squad. Cam is a defensive tackle from Colorado State. So him and Tyquez will be that one-two punch in the trenches. Next up, Robbie from Virginia Tech got back to us. He wanted to make sure that we were balanced on both sides of the ball. So he gave me Allie Jennings, Bryce Gallagher, and Thomas Gordon. This man just hit a home run. He gave us our wide receiver one, Allie Jennings from Virginia Tech. He gave us Thomas Gordon, a comparable backup tight end and our starting fullback. And then on defense, Bryce Gallagher is a top tier option from Northwestern. Thanks for the picks, my guy. I had to reach out to my Boise State Broncos. For those that didn't know, that's where I went to grad school. And Sam Winter came back to us in a big way. He starts off by asking if we're going with current or former players. For this video, I'm building a current team, but honestly, a all-time team isn't such a shabby idea either. He's the only guy to fill my offensive line needs, so shout out to you. He gave me Favor Komalafe and Keith Olsen, who will be my left tackle and right tackle, respectively. Favor is from Boise State. 
Keith is from Utah. And then Sei Aladipo is a Boise State safety, so he'll plug into the mix as well. There's our starting left tackle and right tackle. And on defense, Aladipo going to be a backup safety and depth corner. Keeping things moving along, we got Zach from Pittsburgh. He chose to give us Travis Hunter, Caleb Downs, and then Zakaria Branch, I believe is how you pronounce it. Jennings and Branch are 1A, 1B receivers, and Branch is a young, explosive guy that'll fit right on this team. Defense, we already got Travis Hunter, but Caleb Downs, you can see why he gets the starting role. Joe Charles played basketball for Louisiana before recently announcing he's going to take some time to weigh his options. Wish him the best, but nonetheless, he gave us three guys, Keon Coleman, Brian Thomas, LaTerrence Welch. All right, so Keon Coleman was a receiver for Florida State. He slots in nicely as wide receiver three. Sticking with the theme of offensive firepower, he went Brian Thomas, another receiver from LSU. And then we got to add another Tiger in LaTerrence Welch, who is a cornerback, but his skill set was the most ready to be plugged in at left outside linebacker where we had a hole. Last but not least, to round out our list, Ishmal got back to us, who was the sixth man of the year in the ACC. And I must say this is fitting, ending in the ACC as the NC State Wolfpack are an ACC team. So the Panthers have definitely played the Wolf Pack during the season. My man here gave us Chase Young, Stephon Diggs, and Lamar Jackson. I was looking for current players, but maybe I didn't clarify that enough in my initial message. However, his choices are actually going to be clutch for us. What I decided to do to pay respect to his picks, I decided to add one college football player from each of these players' colleges. Chase Young, Ohio State, Stephon Diggs, Maryland, and Lamar Jackson, Louisville. With essentially his lottery picks, I was able to add Maryland quarterback Tagovailoa Henderson to slot in as our clear cut RB1 from Ohio State and then plug in our last gap at right end with Ashton from Louisville who was a monster last year 11 and a half sacks with the picks made DJ Burns kept his big men with him bringing the wolf pack left guard center and right guard and then on special teams just for the meme since we got no kickers or punters Donald De La Haye, aka destroying is going to be kicking it up for us if you want to see what it looks like when D's kicking in the UFL I'll go check out my other vid. That leads us to right here, right now. And here's a quick glance at the roster that basketball players built. Honestly, not too bad. And that's good enough for an 88 overall, 88 offense, 88 defense. Is this enough firepower for DJ Burns to get a national championship? The rules are simple. I can only jump in during the fourth quarter. So I don't obviously have too much of an impact or so I just don't absolutely destroy every opponent and make it too easy. The Sim is going to have a big part in this. DJ Burns though, getting his first coaching assignment assignment and it starts right here right now with his alma mater the nc state wolf pack stay tuned and see how the season turns out for the team that the college basketball players built first peak of action it's fourth down for hank bachmeyer in louisiana tech can we make a stop yes we can our safety key coming up with a big play wolf pack offense out on the field already putting up 24 points in this one Henderson, the Ohio State running back up the middle. We got Branch, Coleman, Jennings all lining up out there. Very comparable receivers. And uh, let's go hit up Branch first and get a big game. 42 touchdowns on the day and 106 yards. Branch was a sweet pickup from USC. Place your bets now. Will we have any Heisman contenders on this team? Maybe Tagovailoa himself as he is on a mad dash down the sideline all the way down to the 12. It felt good picking up Tagovailoa and knowing that we have Shadur Sanders as a backup option, we are insured as that's a touchdown to Ali Jennings. Tagovailoa came to play in this one as he just throws his fourth touchdown pass. Let's let the Sim take care of the rest as I'm not too worried about it. Just like that, NC State starts off the season 1-0. Talia with a great efficient game that's a heisman type game and it's only week one one down and many to go mountain cats up next college football revamped has really outdone themselves with all of the alternate uniform combinations i really need to see this in the new game i'm gonna go with blood moon for this game dj burns amping up travis hunter on the sidelines and uh yeah those blood moon unis look nice it's fitting because it's about to be a bloodbath okay yeah this is a little confusing only up by 10 and that big sack will get us the ball back ty Quay's legs with a sack. Tyrone's pick for us is coming through on the line. Taking control of Bryce Gallagher here and next to us is Shiloh Sanders. That's also a fun option to play as. We need this fourth down conversion to get held up. Yep that'll do. Like I said, I'm still a little confused how we're only up by 10. I'm hoping I can change that here real fast as I saw a guy spring open last second, but we dump it off the Lions anyway. The All-American high school tight end breaking free for a big first down. We got all 80 plus receivers out here. Someone has got to spring open and that's the middle. That's Thomas Jr. from LSU. Just about the five. You got to hand it off to Trayvon here, the Ohio State running back. 
just held up. Sorry, it's not Trayvon, it's Trayvion. And I think this time we might have better luck. Close. Third down here, he's wide open. Thankfully steps out, causing a fourth. We're plugging up the hole here. We're expecting a run and an option run it is, but he muffs it and Wallen is all over it. FCS tries to get cute with it with the option and uh, his man just goes down. Kai Wallen from Nebraska. NC State moving up in the world 2-0 as we should be after this one. What a game from Kai Wallen. My goodness. This is by far one of the crazier stat lines I've seen from a 70 overall. By week in week three, time to rest, recharge, and subscribe to King Sponge. Man, oh man. I hope we rested well because week four against the number four team in the nation, Clemson. The textile bull and its it's a rainy one, but let's see if DJ Burns can get his team hot. He knows a thing or two about momentum and momentum in big tournament games. Oh man, we're in trouble in this one. Down by five, fourth quarter action. They're running the option. Shiloh and team there to make a stop. This is our first time with the back against the wall just a little bit, but it's a good opponent. Little stop here goes a long way. So let's try to clamp this thing down. I'm going to cover that slant. Yes, we hold them long enough for a big sack. Guess who? Kai Wallen again. Again, who just had a monster game against the FCS opponent, drops the Clemson quarterback here. Start off this drive with a halfback stretch going to the right. Travion tries to put on a move there, just gets a handful. This third down is critical. I feel a little bit of pressure, but we got so many options. Let's just go to Coleman. A little bit of play action from Talia. And uh, yeah, I think we got a guy if we just lob it the right way. Um... Yeah, honestly, a bit too contested, probably to test that one. Man, oh man, we have to get a stop here, and it has to be three points or less from the Clemson Tigers. I really hope Talia's costly in isn't the end of this story. I want another chance with the ball in my hands, and I just need to step up on defense here. Make a play, Key Lawrence. Oh man, that is exactly what the doctor ordered. Huge mistake. He gives it right back to us, and that's going to give us an opportunity to honestly win this game we still got all our timeouts so i really want to be smart with it and uh talk about a smart heads up play jennings broke free wolfpack marching down the field i want to score and i want to do it fast but i also want to be efficient i'm gonna keep it a buck after my last pick i'm feeling like mr Checkdown right now i'm not gonna lie i'm just gonna take the safe route let's dial in because man oh man i badly want to succeed here e i couldn't even get it off that sack's gonna hurt. Let's call a timeout. Rather than waste a lot of time getting back to the line, I figure now is the time to strike. And we got him in. Coleman, big touchdown. I think that's his third of the game. Gives us the lead. This two-point conversion is massive. We just need to get this one. And we got a man. It's Branch. We had to have it, and we got it. It all comes down to this. Defense has to step up in a big way. We'll take that. You got a lot of receivers over there on that side of the field. I hope we don't get lost. Shiloh is trying to cover some ground. He's going deep. I think he was in a miscommunication with the receiver. Third and 10. This is big. He's going to check down. It's fourth down. I don't think he's going to go for it all. I think if he's smart, he's going to try to get the first down here. There's no point in risking it all right now. Shiloh looking to make a play. Oh, he's got it. The scary part is there's still a lot of time left and he has timeouts. So that's all in their favor. Just 13 seconds left. We can't keep letting him step out of bounds like that. That's unacceptable. Let's make the stop. Playing a little bit of prevent D here, but uh, I think it's the right move because they're just going to go for it. Oh, on the last play he almost had it oh my goodness in and out of the hands and thankfully it falls harmlessly to the ground nc state comes through in the clutch defense offense all stepped up beating a top five opponent is something to be proud of and honestly it feels like a gatorade shower type moment but dj burns knows better just like in the final four he knows the job's not finished yet we have to keep chipping away no pun attended chippewas up next another home matchup here against central michigan all gas no breaks it's NC State all over this one as Talia up the middle, just breaking through. Honestly, to me, it feels like uh, Central Michigan never stood a chance. But let's be real. You all wanted to see this. Donald De La Haye kicking field goals in the white and red. Was this one ever in any question? Why not finish it off with another sack? And oh my goodness, Kai Wallen has two sacks in this game as well. Man is already flirting with 10 sacks through four games. DJ Burns knows a thing or two about running up the score as he's always a walking bucket. Let's keep scoring. Job's not finished till we got a Heisman player here. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, I'll eat my humble pie now. Throw my pick and uh, we'll go on our merry way. Taking the show on the road. We're going up against Wake Forest in this one. Well, this throws a wrench in our plans. We're down by 10. We got five minutes to work. So let's work 
but what in the world did I see? 130 yards on the day. Talia with only 91 passing yards so far. It's the fourth quarter. This is crunch time. We have to get going and fast. I think a little strike to Brant. Cheer. Where did Carson come from? Where did he come from? No, seriously, where did he come from? <laughs> Branch was so open. Look at this. Branch was so open, number one back there, and Carson just came out of nowhere. I didn't see him. It literally feels like it's on the line right now. I'm not going to lie. We have to get the stop. Get there. Yes. Wake Forest is not afraid to go for it on fourth down. We get the stop. We're back alive. Travis Hunter with a big play. Down by 10. This is crucial for us to stay alive. Branch, give that stiff arm and a big catch, 25. We take those. I'm really curious as to how this team is playing such stingy defense against us as now we're getting the chains moving. Hurrying up to the line, it's a big down here. I think we got him, man. That's Jennings, first and goal. I'm gonna go ahead and audible it up. I think we hand this ball off to Travion. Maybe we can cash in and catch the defense lacking. And I think it's looking good, looking good. Let's hurry back. Let's just call a simple zone read. Yeah, hand it off and finish the job for me, sir. You didn't get in? Okay, I'm not sure why that didn't work. So let's just keep it with Talia. What a mistake. Okay, not only are we chewing a bunch of clock doing this right now, it's not really working out for us. And that inaccurate pass is going to seal it. Wake Forest is going to upset us, man. This is nuts. Didn't see this one coming. It really came out of left field. Mustafa, bye, bye. That pick six really did seal it. I made a couple mistakes, but Wake Forest just had our number today. It's weird. Wanted to take a quick look at the injury report because maybe we were missing a key piece, but Taike's legs was the only one that's going to be out for just a couple more weeks. He is an important piece on the defensive line, but I can't put all of that on his shoulders for why we lost. Syracuse got next. That last Last defeat got us pissed off. We are ready to win and win in a big way. Now, this is more like it. Talk about a bounce back performance. 35-14 against Syracuse. Let's just try to win out and get a shot at the playoffs. And is that Kai Wallen again? Oh my gosh, say it ain't so. Kai Wallen is a certified beast. Getting chop blocked. He still gets up and finishes the job. Talia with a little rollout here. He's got a wide open branch. Yes, sir. Get that first down. All right, you see that, right? It's not Travion in the backfield. It's Travis Hunter. And he's got such good speed that he can go almost all the way when he touches it. This is exactly why Travis Hunter is our RB2, because he can book it. Read options working pretty well, I'd say, as we're down pretty much first and goal. Oh my goodness, it's Allie Jennings now, our Virginia Tech receiver at running back. Travion and Travis Hunter must be tired, so let's go back to Jennings, who just zigs his way in. That's all she wrote in this one, 42 to 14. Give the game ball to Talia. Back in the top 25, it's week eight, a bye week. You see subscribed in the first by week now during this one go ahead and leave a comment what you want to see next our task in week nine is not a small one number three florida state we already down number four clemson back in the day it's time to bring down another top five opponent in the rain florida state is a number one offense in the country we got a pretty solid defense, pretty solid offense. Let's hang in there. Start of the fourth quarter. We love to see this. I'm all over it with Bryce Gallagher. Wolfpack up by two touchdowns in the fourth quarter here. They're going back to the handoff. Can we stop them? Good to see we got legs back out there. We're going to need a big stop here. Fourth and inches. It's almost guaranteed a, pa a run, right? No, it's a pass after all. And we drop him up by two scores. No need to be silly. Let's start off with a handoff to Henderson. Travion having a big day so far with three scores. He wants to keep adding. The college football committee will not be able to look past this one if we can beat two top five opponents. Let's bring Allie Jennings in motion. We already know he can run the ball, right? When he was a running back. Well, Hand it to him again, and good things happen. 40-yard field goal for destroying, who now kicks for the UFL Brahmas, and I just, yeah, <laughs> you saw that. Well, that's all right. You know, we like it better on defense anyway, am I right? <laughs> Not when we're doing that. Second and 10, let's send in a little bit of pressure here with Gallagher. Great stop by our defender. Jaheim Bell was going nowhere. Gallagher's back on that. We're covering it. Oh, that's Clamps. Yo. Turn around and make a play, my man. Not sure why Rivers, the Duke defensive back, didn't turn around and make a play. Bells is just going to bust right all the way through to the first and goal line. It's fourth and goal. Let us make a play. I'm busting in. Yeah, we stop him. You're going nowhere, Travis. Another stellar victory on the road against Florida State. Travion Henderson is player of the game. 
we came, we saw, we conquered. For beating Florida State, the AP committee only rewards us with a plus two position. Now we're 22nd in the nation. And man, the ACC is tough. We're facing the Tar Heels at home. Who's excited for the new look ACC this upcoming season? I know I am. And man, another rainy game against the Tar Heels? EJ Burns, what do we got to do to get some sunshine around here? Man, oh man, it's a dog fight in this one. We hold them just short. Interesting. Tar Heels at fourth and inches, down by three in the fourth quarter, choose to punt. They're probably thinking it's a little too close to their end zone. So uh, better be safe than sorry, but we're going to make them sorry. I'm going to return this punt all the way to the house. All right, maybe not quite all the way to the house, but uh, when you mess with the dogs, you better be ready for a fight because the wolf pack have the squad flying high. Second and eight. Oh yeah, over the middle looked clean. It still looks clean. I'm going to go to Keon Coleman for six. And that touchdown is monstrous as we're now up by 10. All right, we get to see D redeem himself. Extra point is good. Still a good amount of football in this one, but one stop goes a long way. And that is Caleb Downs with a big pick. Yes, sir, number two. This is back-breaking for Drake May and the Tar Heels as Caleb Downs, the prized possession of the transfer portal, big play. Funny seeing Travis Hunter in the backfield. That still hasn't sunk into me yet, but uh, Jennings, Allie Jennings, just wide open. That catch is going to get us massive first down. We can seal this thing here soon. Third and five, just going to take what's open. That slant is the open route we needed. I think he has enough. All we got to do is run the clock out and this thing's over, but that's exactly what the Tar Heels think we're going to do. So that is all the why we're going to pass it and keep the thing going. Call it cocky, call it whatever you want, but since they're out of timeouts, I feel less pressured, and if I make a mistake, oh well. This is just a prove it drive, honestly for myself, just to show that I can score against a top 10 opponent anytime. Because when the playoffs come calling, we're gonna need to be able to score just about any time, any place, and see, Keon Coleman gets it. That'll just about do it. 38-28, Wolf Pack, we're riding high. Three top 10 victories in the season is nothing to scoff at, but we're gonna have to go back at it again against 16th ranked Duke. Another rain game. For all my fans that live in North Carolina, is this normal? I wouldn't know, haven't been out there, but we're gonna have to take on Duke in the rain. Losing in the Elite Eight to the Wolf Pack stings enough for Duke fans, so they wanna win the football game, but we're trying to tie this up. I'm gonna have to throw salt into the wound for all my Duke fans, we have to win as a Wolfpack. Thankfully, with that score and two-point conversion, things are feeling better, all tied up, but uh, that play was big. First and 10, I'm coming with the blitz. I was there, but he got it off. Another handoff, can we make the stop? Yes, sir. Always love me a good TFL. We can take another one right about now, and I won't complain, but uh, the deflection serves big as well. Just what we want to see, Duke's punting it back to us. Another rain game, another time. The dogs are out. Not every dog is a dog, if you know what I mean. It's time to see who has that dog in them. Third and 15, let's not go down gently as I see Travis Hunter across the middle and he does what needs to be done. That gives us a boost of confidence and we can go back to Lions and there goes the confidence. Oh man, the deflection pick is killer. It must be a slippery ball. Thankfully, we're still all tied up so we can get a shot at making a stand. I'm gonna send in the dogs. I need Shiloh Sanders and the gang to get physical. And wow, Riley Leonard with a read option just goes right on through. Third and goal. I'm thinking pass. It's a handoff. Oh, I sell out for pass, but we get the stop. Honestly, this is a win for us. Yeah, take your insurance three. We're going to come down this field. I'm going to need Talia and the boys to step it up. No more excuses. And wow, Henderson goes back for that one. Clock is ticking. I think read option. Should be the safe play to get us the first down, but wow, we're chewing clock, man. Get it off. There we go. Hurry it back up. See if anyone can break free from their assignment. I do like that down the sideline. Jennings staying alive. I think I'm going to hand it off. I feel like... Nah, let's audible. We're going back to pass. That's going to kill too much clock if I just hand it off and we don't get there. Instead, I can scramble it and get the first down and some. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting a little nervous. Uh, that's just how NCAA football goes, man. Lions looking to redeem himself. He gets in. Oh, man. Honestly, as long as nothing crazy out of the box happens, we should be fine. Dropping back with Gallagher. 
Yeah, we're gonna bring him down. That's a sack for Kai Wallen again. I don't wanna show bias or favoritism, but dude is literally my favorite player right now on our defense. I can't believe it. And oh, what a bittersweet feeling. Victory at last. DJ Burns comes back to haunt the Duke Blue Devils on the gridiron. He didn't just do it to them in the Elite Eight. He's gonna do it to them right here. What a tough time to be a Duke fan. Moving on up to 13th ranked. We're just fighting our way through the ACC. No injuries. I love to see it. It's not raining. Awesome. We're at Boston and we're taking on the Eagles. Wolfpack with the red helmets looking clean. Okay. Boston College beating us by four right now. I'm a little confused. They're two and seven on the season. Like, what am I missing here? What's so cool about the Boston College Eagles right now in their offense? Because, uh, I'm jumping in and we're stifling them. Well, for starters, it looked like Talia only has a hundred something passing yards on the game. And I need to change that. And Batson's not going to let me change that. I throw a pick right into his arms. Well, let's get that out of our system now so we can get the stop and get the ball back. Second 11, back to the ground they go. It's just going nowhere. I think that was the same guy, Anderson, two TFLs in a row. Love when a defender brings that energy because now it's third and 15 and they don't got much left. I'll bring him down. This is a big field goal, not gonna lie. Does he have the leg? That's the important question. It should be honestly a gimme flag. Oh man. A false start, just pushing it back, making it harder. Ouch, that is killer. That false start is going to cost them five yards, and they believe they're out of range. So they're going to go for it on fourth down here. Another slip screen. Is it going to work this time? Dude. Yeah, you're not going to get like 20 yards. And that, my friends, are why the Boston College Eagles are 2-7 and seven on the year. Now, I'll hold off on the smack talk just a smidge until I cash in here with a touchdown. Jennings do the rest. Don't test me with a sorry Eagle cornerback like that. It's third and 10, Boston College finding their man. He drops it. Big fourth down right here. This could seal it. I'm taking control of Shiloh Sanders. We stop him. Just to prove it to y'all that it's really, really over now. Like, I'm just going to throw another touchdown pass. Why not? That's more like it. NC State walk away with a victory. That's going to be a good game from Travion Henderson. We're cruising with only one loss to Wake Forest. Let's keep it up. East Carolina, North Carolina State rivalry game. I think we have the upper hand. But honestly, yeah, anything goes in a rivalry game. So DJ Burns knows exactly this concept. So he's drawn up the right plays. He's got the guys ready in practice. Let's go. Well, up by eight against the Pirates. They're looking to score here and tie this one up. And that's a touchdown. We're reviewing this one to see if he's down short. Yeah, he's down short. Honestly, though, is this going to make a big difference as it's like first in inches at the goal line? He's just going to QB plunge, sheds us, touchdown. Man, what did I say? Anything goes in a rivalry game and it's proving to do just that. We can beat four ranked opponents in one season, but uh, keep it close against our rivals, the Pirates. So they're three and seven on the season and that spin by Talia putting in some work. All in all, a pretty efficient line today from the guys. And that was kind of a risky pass, but it worked out. So far, this drive has been by the buck. And yeah, we'll dump it out to our receiver, Coleman. Did he step in? Just short. If I gave it to him a second earlier, he's in, but that's no problemo for Travion. East Carolina giving us a little bit of a scare. Thankfully, it's fourth down. All we need is a big stop. Fourth down. He's going outside. He's got it, but just short. It's a turnover. On field awareness, not really existent on that last play. So we're going to get the ball back. And uh, I want to just pat it in. Setting out with the umpties, empty split. That's Travis Hunter again across the middle. That's worked a couple times so far. This drive is honestly meaningless. Nothing but stat padding out here as Branch going to top us off. NC State treats the home fans to a victory. We had to fight through four quarters of football to get here. Heading down to the end of the season. None of our guys in the Heisman watch. Back-to-back -back rivalry games. This time, Maryland, the Terra pins are in town this could be a little awkward because talia has allegiance to maryland so uh see how this all shakes up all right what's the big idea here we're down to the terrapins is uh our guy selling for us like Talia, you good? As much as I appreciate what Talia has been able to do for us, you know what time it is. It's Shadur Sanders season, baby. And I'm going to need him to play big for us and talk about a big start. Touchdown to Allie Jennings. I don't got time for any Talia shenanigans against Maryland. We've only been practicing against Talia all year, guys. Let's make him pay. Downs, almost read that like a book. See, there we go. We come in, Shador throws a touchdown. We get the stop on defense. It's looking up and uh, I'm excited to see what happens next. Little Travis Hunter motion play. I think we go to him. 
and uh, what a zero yard pass. Definitely forced it to my man there as it was just too good to be true. All right, now you got me sweating just a little bit. It's third and 19. I got a wide open man, deep. We got him, he's so open. It's Jennings again. Shador just absolutely loves Allie Jennings. Stop playing with my man Sanders here. We're gonna come out, throw a touchdown pass, and we're gonna tie this thing up. Okay, the reason you didn't see any defense is because it was a kick return to the house. So down seven again. Let's see what Colonel Sanders has in store for us in branch. That's a good return. These unranked ACC teams are really fighting to make my life difficult. Shadur Sanders has come in though and has been really Im impressive. Oh man, he was so open. We still got an open guy. Branch breaks free, breaks free of another. Oh, and then steps out. Everything's really on the line. And I'm just going to dump this one out. Play it safe to Keon Coleman. He's got a block. Just gets a big 16 yard reception. We haven't done too much of this the last couple drives, but we have Travion for a reason. So up the middle with him. Third and four. I think Travion's open. Oh my gosh, that could have been picked. Thank goodness for new chances, new opportunities. Slant men like Allie Jennings for a touchdown. You are not dreaming Shador Sanders has come in and thrown three touchdowns. I was suspicious of Talia throwing the game because, you know, he's a Maryland Terrapin guy. So I had to go to Shador Sanders and he's getting the job done. Third and 10. This is a massive defensive stand being needed right here. I kind of read that but he's just short. I'm gonna use the timeout here because Maryland has decided to punt us the ball back. So we're gonna have 45 seconds, two timeouts to drive down and get the win. All right, the mission's simple for a guy like Shadur Sanders. He's already been doing it in impressive fashion. 31 seconds left. I think he's open again. This time it's Thomas Jr., the LSU product. He's breaking free. Big 32 yard play. So 10 for 14, 197 passing yards in three touchdowns in one quarter of football. Thankfully, the anti-ice kicks in because DJ Burns has ice in his veins and so does Donald DeLay. Hey, let's hope Destroying can win this us the game. He does. Game over. That is for sure an ESPN classic. And honestly, give Sanders the player of the game at this rate just for coming in in the fourth quarter. That's got the fans all excited for sure. Player of the game goes to Allie Jennings, which, yeah, that's fitting. Week 15 is a bye week. We're in the top 10. In the first bye week, you hit subscribe. In the second bye week, you commented. And now in this third bye week, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button? Now, this doesn't make any sense to me. We're back against the Tar Heels in the championship game. They're sixth ranked. How are they sixth ranked when we have more wins than them and probably more quality wins? What's the loss against Wake Forest just that atrocious? Because man, we're 11 and 1 and we're behind Michigan, North Carolina, Ohio State, Oregon, LSU, Oklahoma, Florida. It is ACC Championship Week taking on the Tar Heels once more. They want revenge. We ain't gonna let that happen. Not at all. DJ Burns is on the case. The championship game has been living up to expectations 24 apiece, so we can jump in here in the fourth and take control. Another read option. This time, we're gonna get around to the outside. Tag of Aloha, fight your way forward for a first down. Second and six, play action over the middle, intercepted. Oh no. I thought I had the step, I thought I had what I needed. And wow, how did that just turn into a pick six? Please track him down. Is that Jennings or someone on his tail? Seriously, bro. What just happened? All right, I'm gonna give Talia one more chance here or else I'm gonna go to Shitter Sanders and I mean it. See what we got here. Sure, we'll drop it out to Coleman, the receiver from Florida State, fighting through a couple tackles. We'll go ahead and run some more posts and wow, he, we got a guy over here hoping again. It's DM. Oh man, that means I didn't DM someone for that spot. Not really sure why we saw that guy because we have six receivers ahead of him in the depth chart. For people we didn't have, obviously I put a no DM spot, but that's a touchdown to Brian Thomas. We do have this guy from LSU cashing in. Third and 20 with just a minute 13 left. That's a slip screen. I am reading that one out, no problemo. 30 seconds left, third and 16. I don't know how aggressive I wanna get in the case so that I don't convert, but Travis Hunter says I'll convert for you again. So now we can hurry back up to the line and keep the pedal to the metal because we are trying to win after all. And what the heck am I doing, man? No, seriously, like, what was that? Please, oh, please don't be the reason why NC State goes down because of that. I would not be okay with that. With seven seconds left, look like they're just cool with chucking one up to the end zone. They got a step. He caught it for a touchdown. With literally one second remaining here, Drake May just threw up a ball to Tez Walker, and uh, he burnt us all. I literally got one second left in a last gasp. Let's just see if anyone can get open and I don't even get it off the pressure was on me too fast so down go the wolf pack that 
game has massive implications. Tar Heels have a shot at destiny. We're probably falling out of the playoff picture. The Tar Heels got us at the end, but thankfully we still get a pretty sweet consolation prize. The Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Old Miss, NC State. Before we jump into the Chick-fil-A Bowl, I'm down to check out some season stats real quick. 3,100, 29 touchdowns from Tagovailoa. 203 and 3 from Shitter. Wow, a very nice 1,318 touchdown season from Travion Henderson. I'd say our top three receivers did pretty well Keon Coleman, Branch, and Allie Jennings. Now, Kai Wallen, this man was an All American award winner, 13 sacks, the six foot five sophomore, 70 overall out of Nebraska. A lot of first team All Americans for NC State. Kai Wallen, left end. Bryce Gallagher, middle linebacker. Shiloh Sanders and Bryce Anderson also round out the list. Four first team All Americans on D defense is crazy. Add a second team All-American on the other side, as well as our running back. Sure, and why not freshman All-American Zachariah Branch. All right, it's that time. Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, NC State, Ole Miss. I'd say DJ Burns did a pretty good job leading his squad to the Chick-fil-A Bowl. I am content with it. I know it could have been a heck of a lot more if we didn't drop a silly one against Wake Forest, and then I threw a costly in, in the championship game. Sometimes it's a game of inches, and life isn't always fair, but uh, we're going to make the most of this Peach Bowl. Tied up for 14 a piece. Let's plunge this in with Talia. Did he get in? No. Nothing a little halfback stretch couldn't fix. Up the middle. Ooh, it didn't fix it. At the one, I'm definitely not taking my field goal. What do they think I'm doing? Okay. Third and 11. Ole Miss looking for anything. Can they find someone? No. Second and four. Up the middle seems like a safe play. That'll do. And it looks like right there, that is a school record rushing yards in a single season. So Henderson was a great pick. Shout out to Ishmael from Pitt Basketball for the pick. Definitely no doubt that Ole Miss is a stingy opponent. I was never doubting it for a second. First and 10, middle is clear for takeoff. Keon Coleman down to the goal line. Four red zone trips in the Chick-fil-A Bowl, no touchdowns. That has to change. These have been some hard fought yards. Henderson finish us off. No. Another opportunity to take an 18 yard field goal or do we go for it at the one? I say go for it at the one. And yeah, I'm going to audible to a handoff. I think our best chance is to just feed the rock off. Can we get in? We can. Old Miss definitely looking to take up the tempo here. They are trying to get a big score. Travis Hunter makes a play. Second and 10. Handoff. What a play call. Honestly, that just looked like Operation lose the game right there. I don't know what they're thinking with that play call. Caleb Downs makes the stop. Because they were feeling silly, it's now fourth down and they have to convert here or it's over. And Travis Hunter is there. Watkins, what a catch. I totally just got some PTSD from the game winner for the Tar Heels had. So uh, I'm not happy about that. Thankfully, the game's over. It was a hard fought season. A couple silly blunders along the way really defined it, but. Um, honestly, a resilient group, a great bunch of players. Shout out to all the college basketball players that contributed, especially some during their March Madness runs. So uh, it means a lot. And thank you to you all that are watching. I hope you enjoyed the content. And as always, keep it real. Keep it here. I got so much more around the corner for you. You're not going to want to miss it.